welcome to another adventure When setting up camp in the wild, look for clues of animal corridors to avoid any confrontations. Having observed the movements of the curious neighbors, I decided to change the direction of the tent's doorway. I then relaxed to the magnificent sunset and sounds of the evening bush chorus. Hello, hello. Pretty excited to be at Old Pajeta. Had dinner and it's this amazing campsite just next to uh, the Ewasonero River. Pretty spectacular views, buffaloes grazing outside. Looking forward to tomorrow. The game drives. Better turn off this light. It's attracting bugs. Maybe use my red light. Good morning, what an amazing place to wake up. Birds singing, amazing sunrise, and the backdrop sound of the mighty Ewaso Nyiro River. Last night was uneventful, except a lone hyena that was maybe a kilometer or two away and howled occasionally. Other than that, I had a pretty good sleep and I am energized for today. I am looking forward to finding the rhinos. Let's find them.
After this fantastic sighting of rhinos, I headed back to the camp to escape the midday sun. I'm just chilling at the campsite. So zebras, buffaloes, southern white rhinos, pretty exciting. It's quite hot and um, there aren't any animals about. So I'll wait for the temperature to go down a bit. Have a short nap, just catch up on a few things that I, I wanted to do and then head out for a game drive. Uh, today is my last night here. Um, and then I'm off tomorrow morning. How amazing is this? It's a pride of five lions by the dam. I had them last night actually, so I had them roll last night and I thought they were not very far away from the comp site. So it's really nice to see them here. Such an amazing experience with the lions. My long lens camera battery died and I decided to head back to camp. Little did I know there was a massive surprise waiting. This lone elephant was later joined by five more. They slowly edged their way towards camp, getting to within five meters of my tent as I prepared dinner on what was proving to be an exciting second night in the wild. Last night was eventful. So about six or seven, a strong herd of elephant uh, walking through the campsite. They took their time, they really did, because they got here about late afternoon. At that point I thought, hey, they'll just sort of find their way and they won't get this far. But by 8pm, they were still here. The matriarch was 
probably five meters away. So all I could see was this towering shadow just moving the trees and at that point I kept shining my light towards them just to see how far they'd got. Just as they appeared, um, they disappeared into the trees. I did a sort of a perimeter walk and found that they'd completely gone, only to be replaced by two massive hippos really really big also very very close to come and i've not experienced the sound <laughs> a hippo makes before this was loud it was deep in between a grunt and a drum beat it was very consistent i think between 12 when they woke me up and about two this hippo just went on and on got out of my tent and shone the torch around they were 10 or 15 meters away, but it felt like they were right outside my tent. And it was quite unnerving. I haven't experienced that before with hippos quite the night. So last day today, let's get ready. You can see the large footprints down there from the hippo. Um, about there. Uh, and it walked all the way up and they were feeding about about there and that's where they spent most of the night just around that bush there every time i shone my torch they were just there and making this incredible sound and i just got the fire going just to try and keep them at bay but i could hear them swimming down here but every time I shone my torch, I couldn't really see them. So I think that's how they, they really swam that way. The elephants were here. Um, so the matriarch was feeding right here. So I could see sort of this looming, big, towering shadow just about here feeding on this bush um, which was very convenient because that's where the firewood is so I needed to get my firewood from there but the whole of this area was occupied by the elephants and you can see they've left some evidence behind of their presence from here it's not far to where the campsite is and I just kept an eye on them from there that uh, completely blocked my exit if I needed to exit quickly. It's just carnage that they've left behind. Broken branches, just carnage everywhere. And uh, just as quickly as they appeared they disappeared to the trees what a night um i'll get some coffee going That's my makeshift shower, so I just fill it with water there and I've got this little nozzle here that just works on gravity. It's um, not the best, but again it's better than nothing and so far I found it sufficient for a good shower. After a quick shower I got packing. This is usually my least favorite thing to do while camping, especially when there's so much to you. It makes having a rooftop tent very attractive. I thoroughly enjoyed Ol Pejeta and will definitely be back. Here are some photos.
thanks for watching. In the next adventure, I test my latest project Overland vehicle, an L322. This is my first visit ever to the Masai Mara, and I'll be camping in the wild. Thank you.